Howdy folks, thank you for clicking on the video. Welcome to the channel, glad you're here. Um, yeah, this is kind of a spur of the moment video. I hadn't really planned on making this one, but things just kind of happened. And uh, well, I ended up with a new amp. Well, not a new amp, it's a used amp, but it's new to me. And uh, it's, it's a Black Star. And I've kind of been wanting to check out Black Star amps. I've never owned one. And I know some people don't like them. Some people have a lot of criticisms about them. Some people do like them. They, they say they're perfectly good. I'll find out for myself. <laughs> Like I said, I'm buying it used. The price was right. Yeah, and I'm actually going to pay uh, a little bit more than what he's asking for uh, for it because um, I, I think it's worth a little more than what he was asking. Uh, but it's still a good deal, and uh, there are multiple reasons. Even if I don't like the amp itself, there's a reason why I want to buy this. So hang around. We'll check out the amp and uh, we'll, we'll hear it a little bit. Then I'll tell you exactly why I would buy this amp, even if I hated the amp itself. Okay, like I said, it's a uh, Black Star HT5. When uh, my friend first told me, you know, that he had an amp he was selling, he sent me some pictures. He wasn't sure at the time. He knew it was a Black Star. He really didn't know what model it was, but he sent me some pictures. Uh, and I, all I could really tell from the pictures was that it was an HT5. And there are multiple versions of the HT5, so I was thinking it was either going to be, uh, uh, they're all 5 watt amps, but there's one that comes with an 8 inch speaker, I believe, and one with a 12 inch speaker, and those were the two that I originally saw when I started looking for them. Um, it wasn't until uh, he actually uh, brought it and, and I got to, to actually look at it that I realized, well, this is completely different from the ones that I saw. And it seems that there's a third version of the amp, which is a limited edition, I think it was an anniversary thing, um, that has two tens, two Celestians, 10-inch um, speakers. So I brought it home. You know, I told him I, I would check it out, see if I was interested in buying it. I definitely am, and, and I'll explain why. So why don't we go ahead and listen to it? But first, before we go any further, there's one little important piece of business that needs to be addressed. And that's the fact that the vast majority of you who are watching this video right now, well, you're not subscribed. And, you know... I need you to hit that subscribe button. It helps when you hit that subscribe button, when you ring that bell to get the notifications, when you click the like button, when you share it, when you comment, all that good stuff, that really helps me out. And I would appreciate a, a great deal if, if you'd go ahead and do that for me right now. Let's go ahead and hear what this thing sounds like. Clean channel. Uh, like I said, on the clean channel, you've got a volume knob, you've got a tone knob. Oh, I should mention, I'm playing a Gretsch uh, Electromatic Double Jet. Sadly, it does not belong to me. Uh, my friend Dreadlock Dave brings me his guitars from time to time for a little bit of TLC, a little bit of adjustments, whatever it needs. Uh, if he feels something's getting to be not quite right with his guitars, he, he brings them to me. And this is one of them. He brought it for a little bit of a setup. He, he's a local player down here, and uh, he, he plays in a band called Not Spices. So look him up. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll see if I can't put a link or something below. He's a friend and I love to help him out and, and get his guitars working right when he needs them because this is a working guitar. He gigs this guitar all the time. So uh, that's what I'm using before I have to give it back. Damn it. 
tone i'm sorry i don't have a camera up here to show you the the control panel i just i had to make some sacrifices i'm limited in what i can do but uh i'll tell you the tone which is your only eq for the clean channel is right now at noon so let's let's dial it back most of the way south All the way up. I think personally, I kind of like it around the 130 mark. Um, clean channel on the dirt channel the overdrive channel I should should uh, be I've got the gain basically about halfway up the volume a little over halfway up <laughs> what happens when we take that gain all the way up. Okay, we're gonna... Take the gain way back. It's a five watt amp. It is a tube amp. Now this is the thing that people get kind of hung up on. I see it all the time. All oh, black stars aren't real tube amps. Well, part of their argument may be correct. Uh, there's digital elements in it. I mean, for sure, this amp has reverb on it, but it's it's there's no reverb tank that I can see in there. So it's it's digital reverb and i'm sure there's some other stuff probably on the overdrive channel uh there's some digital elements happening in there but there is a preamp tube and a power amp tube so 
The preamp tube is a 12BH7. The power amp tube is an ECC83. It's a tube amp. Let's just get that out of the way. Uh, two Celestian 10 inch speakers. Let's get to the knobs and, and I'll show you the knobs. Uh, I'll put a picture up here that shows you the whole panel, but um, most notably two channels, clean channel, and that just, it, there's a volume and a tone. That's all you get. And it works pretty well. It, it does what it's supposed to do. On the overdrive channel, however, you do have a, a three band EQ, bass, mid, and treble. And then there's another uh, uh, knob right at the end of that, which is called the ISF. Um, and that stands for, I've got it written down here uh, as soon as I can find, oh yes, the infinite shape. What are they? Uh, infinite shape feature. Now, to the best of my understanding, uh, what it's supposed to do is kind of give you a range between your Fender-y kind of sounds and your Marshall-y kind of sounds. Let's go ahead and see what that does. That's with the ISF at about three. Uh, excuse me, I'm a little uh, lunch is talking to me. It, it's right now. It's at about three o'clock. We're basically three quarters of the way up. So. So there you go, that, that's what the ISF does. The reverb, it's a digital reverb as far as I can tell. It sounds pretty good. I'm not gonna complain about it. So uh, yeah, it passes. And of course you have your power uh, switch, your standby switch. Yeah, there's a, a selector switch for your, your two channels. However, it does come with uh, it's down here on the floor. I'll, I'll show a picture of it, but a single button uh, foot switch uh, to change between the two channels. There's um, speaker outs for uh, 16 uh, 1 by 16 ohms. There's an out for 1 by 8 ohms. And then there's one for 2 by 16 ohms. So, oh, and there's also, I think, a switch uh, for your, there, well, there's an effects loop. I was jumping ahead of myself. There's an effects loop and then you can switch between a plus four decibels or a minus 10 decibels within your, your effects loop. And there's also uh, an input if you want to hook uh, a line in, say an MP, MP3 player. So there's a lot of nice features on the amp. Um, again, it's used. It's not in excellent condition. The, uh, the Tolex on it uh, has some rough spots. It, it looks like it's been beat on a little bit, not too badly, but overall, it sounds good. But you know, I said at the beginning of the video, there was one thing about this amp where even if I didn't like the amp itself, I still already knew I was gonna buy it. And uh, I'll tell you why that is. It's because of the two tens. I've been looking for a long time. I've been wanting to pick up a 210 cab. That makes me pretty happy. And that ultimately made my decision. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and buy it and I'm even willing to pay a little bit more because, well, I, I think it's actually worth a little bit more than, than what Gabriel thinks. And I don't, I wouldn't feel right if I didn't at least give him a little extra money on top of what he's asking. So there it is. There's the Blackstar HT5. I'm pretty happy with it. That said, how about this? Let's be good. Let's all just be good. Take care.